Andy Review. Angry Andy. Hello and welcome to Angry Andy Reviews, and this is my review for Star Wars The Acolyte Episode 3. I'm going to preface this video by saying I'm not interested in any sort of political arguments, I'm not interested in um, woke arguments and things like that. I am here, quite simply, as a fan, trying to enjoy a series, but I am here basically on the guys that we get good writing, we get good dialogue, we get good characters, we get solid plot, we get decent direction, we get incredible cinematography. And this episode has absolutely fucking none of that, um, to be quite honest with you. I think this, this episode, I'm going to preface it again, a double preface if you will, by saying I think this is probably one of the worst episodes of Star Wars TV we've had thus far. And that's saying something. That really is saying something. It's an incredibly cringy, embarrassing mess of an episode. And like I said, I'm not interested in any of this side arguments and um, the, this god-awful civil war of opinion that's going on. I really, I'm really not, I'm really not, because <sighs> there's been many shows and, and films that have dealt with, you know, the, these these whole ideas of, you know, female lead characters and things like this, and they've done it well because the writing's been great, um, so let's, let's not, let's not get into that. Um, this is an embarrassment of an episode, this is a terrible episode, because the writing isn't there, the dialogue isn't there. It's atrocious. It's terribly written. It's terribly paced. It's amateurish. The characters are wholly unlikable. Completely unlikable from top to bottom. They're unlikable. I'm not invested in any fucking one of them. We're three episodes in. We are three episodes in and I don't care about any of these characters. I don't care about any of these characters. If this was a film... It would be over 90 minutes at this point, and we are not in a position where any of the characters are likeable enough to invest in them. And I don't mean, I don't mean you have to think, oh, I love that character, he's a wonderful person. I'm thinking, you know, that character's interesting, I want to see what they're up to, what they're doing. This episode does nothing to assist that. I said in my previous reviews for episodes 1 and 2 that I was interested in Saul. In this episode, it paints him in a different different light that's uninteresting because what it, the words that come out of his mouth are wankery, just dribble. There's nothing there. There's nothing behind the words. They're just saying a script. They're all just saying a script. There's no other intention. There's no depth. There's no weight. It's awful. Just a couple of the, a couple of lines of the dialogue in this. So there's, there's a scene later on. So this episode... Quite simply, it's a flashback episode. It's set 16 years before on the planet of Brendock, where May and Osha are with this witch coven, where they have two mothers, and all the witches there, they're, they're, all, they're all ladies, and they, they follow their own idea of the Force. And that's the main, main bone of contention across multiple other videos. They follow their own version of the Force called the Thread, and in this thread is, is convoluted nonsense. It's not written well. It's not written well. Fundamentally, for me, it's not written well. I'd be interested and I'd be inclined to listen to your version of, of, of the Force, your version of, of these, these powers, if it was written well and it made sense. Because, let's be, let's be honest, in our own humanity, in the history of humanity, the Crusades existed where multiple different versions of the same religion were battling it out across uh, the plains of, of fucking Jerusalem, etc. To try and take control of the Holy Land. There were multiple different versions, multiple different ideas, fighting for the Pope, fighting for Christianity, fighting for uh, Islam. 
So fine, you know, I'll have it that there's different sects of a of a religion in this universe. I'll have it, but what you have to do is you have to have it make sense. It's not it's not enough to give us vague answers about oh I created them. Fine, I'm guessing that means we're going to get another flashback episode. But it's also not enough that you your power your primary power of of example seems to be the fucking force push. A force push is what you learn first in a fucking Star Wars game. It's... Oh, why do they spend so much time showing such a, a mediocre power when you think about it? What, what is this? There is a sequence, that sequence where Osha and May are being taught lessons of the thread, and the prime example is they use force push. Great, how exciting. But like I was saying, there's there's a, a sequence which highlights the dialogue in in this episode, which is just terrible and how terribly written it is. Where everything's going wrong, it's it's all going to shit. And and May says to Osha, "What have you done?" And Osha says to May, "What have you done?" Or oh, maybe it's the boy around. I don't know at this point. And <laughs> then there's a third, "What have you done?" God, who writes this? <laughs> Uh, let's, let's, just, let's just say, you know, to, to the writers, what have you done? Because this is terrible. Absolutely, utterly terrible. And the dialogue gets no better than there. It's it's lacklustre. It's not written well for these child actors that are sisters, but quite clearly not twin sisters. So, okay. Um, <laughs> they're supposed to be twin sisters in the future, but they don't look like twins in this. They are genuine sisters in real life, but... Fucking hell, okay. And then, of course, they've still got the same haircut that they'll have 60 years in the future, because I've had the same haircut I've had for for, for the entirety of my fucking life. Um, <laughs> fuck off. Fuck off right now. Um, and it's just, it's just irritating. It's irritating. I feel bad when child actors are irritating in an episode, because it's not their fault. It really isn't their fault. I'm not going to single them out at all. It's just the writing does not help them at all. It doesn't help them at all. They're giving very, very little to do in terms of decent <laughs> decent lines of dialogue. It's very simplistic. It's childlike. Children are not idiots. Give them some meat and they will fucking chew through it. It's fucking awful. And then we have this this whole... Um, situation where the, the the two mothers are arguing between each other. I carried them. I created them. That's interesting. You know, how did you create them? You know, quite clearly it's very different to the way Anakin was created. So there's got to be some intrigue there. But we don't get into it in this episode because, God almighty, we're going to have to fill in more gaps in another later episode, aren't we? Because clearly this, this show is going to be going nowhere of interest. And... We then have this 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 wonderful ascension ceremony. So Osha and May are to be ascended into this order of witches. Osha doesn't want to. May does. And then we have this god awful, cringy sequence. And it's terrible, where there's chanting and and singing, and it's out of key. It's it's out of whack. It's God. It doesn't fit at all, and it's terribly done. <laughs> man, awful. The Jedi turn up, thankfully, to relieve us of our of our misery in this cringy sequence of chanting, and then they're like, "Hey, we, you've got children. Uh, you're not allowed. Uh, we're going to take them, uh, but we're going to test them first. Is that all right?" And they say, "Yeah." Who says yeah? <laughs> they say yes. These these witches say we have to protect. We have to keep everything contained and protected. And they still sit there going, "Yeah, you can take, you can take, test them." <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you f fucking real? Are you serious? Again, perhaps we're going to get a different perspective. Perhaps I I guess I hope because nothing that we've seen so far, nothing that happens in the episode makes sense in terms of what we've already seen in episodes one and two. May is upset because. There's this whole plan that May and Osha would lie to the Jedi. Osha doesn't. She completes the test. And May is upset about this. And says, I'm going to kill you. So May is an actual fucking homicidal maniac at this point. Locks her in a room and then sets fire to rocks. 
So fire works differently. It works perfectly fine in space, as we saw in episode one. And in episode three, it burns rock on a consistent flammable basis. Excellent news. Apparently, this is enough to kill everyone in in the compound, in this in this fortress of uh, wankery. And I, I, again, again, I don't believe that we're seeing the full picture here. There's going to be something else that happens because there is no fucking way that... Uh, Jedi Master Torbin, or King Tommen, committed suicide because of this. Because if he does commit suicide because of this, then, oh my god, what the fuck? Really, what the fuck? There's got to be something else going on here. There's got to be something else that makes it different. The, do the Jedi, are the Jedi the ones that kill everybody here? I, I, I think it's going to be a given at this point. Because all these people, all these dead witches, because everyone's dead, you know, there's no way they were killed by smoke inhalation or fire-related injuries. It just, it's just not the case. It's not the case. Or maybe even May does something. Who knows? We'll see. Just to finish off, we see May disappear into a fucking abyss. And a bridge collapses. They do a, a very simplistic shot. Great direction. A very simplistic shot where they're on the other side of the bridge, there's a gap in the bridge, there's a crack in the wall, oh, fucking imagery, May and Osha are now separated, they're on different sides of the scale, oh my god, well fucking done, what a genius move that is, and Sol saves Osha from falling herself, and then it ends, great, how delightful, fucking disaster, what I would say fundamentally with this, why this writing is terrible, is because there is no, there's no through line. If they were t attempting to make May a sympathetic villain to show that something had happened to her that she wasn't quite aware of, then this episode nukes that from orbit. Because throughout this episode, we are given the sense that she is a homicidal maniac. She tortures animals. She bullies her sister. She fucking says, I'm going to kill you! And then locks the door and sets fire to her room. There's, there's no way with that that you can sort of point to it and go, okay, she's misguided. No, she's homicidal. It's not Anakin where he's dealing with grief on a massive scale that he can't, he can't maintain it. It's, it's not the case with Anakin that he's, he's, he's suffering with PTSD from fucking war. You know, there's none of that. These are two children in a very, very tight commune. You know, enjoying life together, they're laughing and joking at points throughout this. So, she goes from zero to I'm going to murder you immediately. There is no other way to come around that. There's no, there's, for me, there's no sort of a way you can say, oh, well, she's misguided. She's, you know, she was suffering. No, she's a fucking murderer at this point. <laughs> and the motivation of her is completely shot as a result. She wants revenge on the Jedi, but is actually the one responsible for everything that's going on here. And again, unless we're seeing only one side of the picture, then... Uh, yeah, she wanted to kill Osha. Fundamentally, she wanted to kill Osha. So there you go. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. And that, that's it. That's it. The writing throughout is just terrible. It does no, it does no service to the story, the wider implications... You know, fundamentally, we've had witches before that are far more interesting. The Night Sisters of Dathomir, where Darth Maul comes from, that's a that's a female-led society where men are subservient to the females of the Order, and it works. Why? Because they're written fucking well. Fundamentally, they're written well. It makes sense. They these these witches have powers that make sense. They use something that we don't see in, you know, any any other media up to this point, you know, but it works because you believe it because they're fucking written well. Darth Maul and and his, his brother are created in, in the Clone Wars, you know, utilising powers that make sense. It's shown, they've given a good through line, good writing, good dialogue, good story and plot that informs more information about the Force. Here, it's wafer thin. It's lacklustre. Are we going to see more of it? Probably. Probably going to flesh out a bit more of how they were created. Who is it that's responsible for killing all these witches? But at this point, I don't really care. I don't care now. We're three episodes in. 
and this show has done nothing for me except bore me and make me cringe in my seat. Like I said to you, I don't care about your politics. I don't care about any other side, you know, of this of this 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 woke argument war or whatever it is that's going on. I'm here for good writing because I'm a fan. I'm here. I'm I'm invested before you you before you even show me the show because I want to see what it's about. Now I'm not. I, I'm out. I'm done. And to be honest with you, if I didn't have any pre prior, previous or prior engagements, you know. That, I, that meant I, ha I have to watch this show, I would no longer be watching. I would no longer be watching, but as such as it is, I've agreed to do a, a number of a number of reviews for other people, um, and then I'll be doing my own reviews. And I'll be honest with you, if I didn't, if I, <laughs> if it wasn't for the service of the channel and for the service of you know a colleague's channel, I wouldn't, I, w I would not be watching anymore because it's terrible writing. Terrible writing, terrible dialogue, the direction is poor. This show cost 180 million. I've not seen anything of that. I've not seen any grandiose spectacle or, you know, interesting effects. No, n nothing, to be fair. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. I don't know what what's going on. You let me know. You let me know your thoughts and opinions on this. Where does it sit with you? For me, this episode is a 3 out of 10. A 3 out of 10. My word. Ah, oh, yeah. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Let me know your thoughts. Sound off in the comment section down below. I do apologise. I have woken up. It's been a very difficult week this week um, for me and for my family here, for some other separate matters. Um, you know, I'm going away after this as well, so um, not forever. <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going away. I'm going on a, on a trip with the family. We're going to you know, have some fun and whatever. So, yeah, it's been a difficult week and this episode hasn't helped at all. I was hoping we'd get something great. This episode hasn't helped at all. So let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. What do you think of this episode? Where does this sit with you? What are your opinions on the thread or the wafer-thin thread as it is? And, um, yeah, please do like and subscribe to the channel for more reviews like this. Um, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye. <sighs>